Okay, so so far we went over how to make a Git repository, how to hook it up to a remote, how to solve merge conflicts, and how, uh, for the most part, to do you know Git status twenty times to figure out what is actually going on. So now what I want to talk about is uh, Git cherry pick. So what that command does is, let's say you're working on something, and uh, you had a change and you got rid of it, but now you want it back and so it's no longer in your working tree but you want it back somehow because you reverted so that's what git cherry pick is for and what these uh, IDs are for and when you type like git log or if you type um, git ref log for kind of a list of everything you did locally uh, those these IDs on the side here th that's what you would use you type git hyphen I mean get cherry hyphen pick and then the ID of one of these things you did and if it's a commit it'll take whatever work you did in that commit pluck it from that log and put it right into your working tree for you hence the phrase cherry pick so we're gonna try to do something like that um, Clearly the master branch has more commits now than the new branch, so if I go to the new branch, I do get log on here, I have a few less commits than, than the other one. Um, so I'm going to cherry pick one of those commits that were in the master let's see this will already be here let's get this one I don't think that will be there yet so I'm just going to copy that ID and paste it here So now, if I do get status, you can see that now I have this untracked file, this readme file, that's in here. So, get add, oops, and that's actually the original file, so, um, what git did with this file is, uh, I must have plucked in the readme file we made because I probably made an edit to it and when I plucked it in it made a duplicate of it and called it readme.md.original so we really don't need to commit that that's just for us if we ever want to uh, you know get out of this uh, cherry pick and go back we can um, it doesn't say that we're one ahead on anything so I think uh, the changes were already in this branch to begin with so I don't think it changed anything but it did create that new file for us uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do is just to uh, go back to my master and then I'll echo out something into a file. This is to create. So I'll commit that then. Into the new branch. So now we're going ahead. Now I'll go back to our other branch. New branch. Get ref log. Get cherry pick. So we'll grab this one. Oops. Sorry. Copy. Get cherry pick. 
I actually like control C to do that command. Paste that in there. And that cherry picks that commit from master into this new branch. So now I have cherry pick me.txt in there. However, it does not say that I'm one ahead. So I got the I got the file. However, I did not get the commit. Maybe I did. Let's try git log and see what that is. So it did get the commit, but it just doesn't say I'm one ahead. Probably because this isn't um, the master branch. So I was able to get this commit and cherry pick it into here. So what happens now if we want to, you know, go back one? So what I do to go back one is you do git reset minus minus hard and then wherever your head points to which is kind of the head is a pointer which points to the uh, most uh, recent commit that you've done and you use carrots or you can use uh, hyphen number hyphen some number you know um, you put a carrot for how many commits you want to go back so I just want to go back one and get rid of the cherry pick that we just did so now you can see now we're back at um, this commit and I type git ref log again, you can see that it, it uh, noted what we did, gave that an ID, also noted all everything else that we did. And by type git log, you can see now we don't have that commit anymore in here. We don't have anything that says cherry pick. So that's how you kind of cherry pick things and depending on your workflow you can use that various ways and um, You can use them in a, um, very creative, creative ways too. So you never really lose work in Git. So always use Git ref log to look at a list of changes that you've done. Use Git log to just see the commits. And uh, cherry picking is very useful. You never lose work with Git. Unless of course you just nuke everything. So don't do that.